Jamie, take a sweater off. So we're going to the west side now, and I keep forgetting that Avenue A is two ways. We're going to take a cab over here and uh, go over to the west side. So you do this all the time, Jamie? Yeah, pretty much. Cameraman? For what? For who? Uh, for TV a lot. Really? So. Like uh, Fox TV or the local station? I used to do news, yeah, and I'm shooting this music video show. It's kind of dumb, but they're very Did nice you do people. any of David Leslie's things? No, uh huh. No. I thought I recognized you from one of those shoots. It's a beautiful day, but there are no cabs. It's a Sunday without cabs in New York City. Yeah, go on. Somebody go on with him. Okay, I'll go with them. All right, we'll see you soon. We're going over to 12th Street and West Street. So you'll be there in a few minutes. 12th and the highway, yeah. Uh, we need to go to 12th Street and West Street, please. West Street? Yeah, Wait, West Side Highway. Side. Side. We need a 14th Street? Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. 13th or 14th, I don't care. Yeah. I love New York because it's unique. It's like Venice used to be in the 12th century. It's cosmopolitan. Everybody has to deal with everything here all the time. Nobody can escape it. So as much as anybody hates New York, they love it too because it makes them realize that you really have to have a philosophy of tolerance to be in this city and to survive in this city. And everyone's innately aware of that. Everybody knows that underneath what they think and feel and all the you know, aches and pains of every day, everybody realizes innately that the philosophy is one of love and tolerance here because otherwise the whole place would blow up like a powder keg. So I love something it. something wrong. What? New York is like, uh, what do you say, like uh, Venice? Venice? Venice in the 12th century. No, yeah. New York is like New York. Yeah. It's only like New York. Yeah. It's the only place that's ever been like this. It's the only place the whole world sort of looks to us to see what's going to happen next. What is coming next? Who are they going to look to? It has to be here. I mean, everybody looks to New York to find out what's going to happen next because there's so much power concentrated here and it has such an effect on everything everywhere else. It's a great experiment here. Mm -hmm. What do you think is going to happen next? I don't know, but we're going to find out about it first. <laughs> New York, they don't like New York. Uh-huh. Yeah. And uh, why did you ask me that? Because you ask everybody that yeah. gets in your cab why yeah. they like New York? Yeah, why you like New York, why you don't like New York. And what do they say? What do most people say? Say it's too fast. <laughs> it's too busy. It's crazy. You know, it's too expensive. And after, you see, I'm just 14 months in this country. And where are you from? From Romania. Uh huh. The more you're here, the more you like it. That's what I found out. I've been here 18 years, I like it better every day. I love New York. You need to live hundred many years. Hundred years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you, if you want to see every place in New York, and yes. every time he change, mm -hmm. it's fast. I like fast. It's alive. Yeah, 24 hours a day open, seven days a day. Why did you come to New York? Why? You know what, it's freedom, man. You have passport, American passport. We don't have in, in my country. In any communist country. So New how, York how is the ultimate it? in freedom because it's like the same reason we came here. I'm from a small town in the south. Everyone is very constrained. You have to worry about what other people think about you. And once you escape from that kind of a mentality, you don't ever want to have to go back to that. And now, I mean, every day when you wake up in New York, you realize that this is the only place, one of the few places in the world where you can be really free and not, not have to care about what other people think about you because you have your rights. It doesn't matter what they think about you. As long as you're not bothering them, they have no right to complain.
after after four months, I think so. People uh, who who is too rich don't like New York, and people who don't like work they don't like New York. Uh huh. Mm. It's true because you have to work hard just yeah, to be here. Yeah, because it's not easy. Not easy you for stay, anybody. It's not good. So you must tell them not to leave easy. New York, and then we can stay here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what else I like about New York is it's the great leveler. Because the ultra rich and the ultra poor all put up with the same things every day. So you have people of every diverse kind of social situation that all have to deal on the same level every day. You stand right next to them waiting for the same elevators, the same escalators, the same taxis. And the same thunderstorm. And it's the great leveler. And this makes people really proud to be here because on a certain level, on a certain degree, everybody deals with everybody every day, you know? Yeah. Because they have to. It's the only thing that keeps the city going. So there's a great deal of pride here. Everybody here is proud that but they have been able to be here. think that one could say that's the same with every city? No, not every, every major, city is demanding. Every, every city is not city. as demanding in a social and, and a, a, a toleration kind of way. San Francisco is a beautiful city, but it doesn't have the energy of New York. No, and every city is not like New York. No, nothing's like New Look, York. Look, go. You see Roosevelt Island is between Queens and Brook in uh, Manhattan. Mm. It's nothing very else is like place. New York. It's, it's really amazing. We were out doing a documentary today about about uh, me and how I go out with the camera and talk to people on the streets in New York, and then you come along. We were over there in the East Village talking about how I documented certain kind of artists that could only be around or, or certain things about the pyramid in the East Village. Now we're going over to the West Village, I'm going to talk about just New York, you know. So you're asking me the very questions that I've got to be able to talk about in 30 minutes on a camera. And it's why I love New York and why I do what I do in New York. It, it's, you know, and we get into a cab and the cab driver asks us, like, the very thing. If the camera were here, we'd already have shot the scene. <laughs> I mean, only in New York. There's a great synchronicity about things in New York that is almost mystical, and it happens to everybody almost every day. It happens to me several times. So, we're here in the West Village. It is pretty here. It's a whole different scene around here, you know? Everything looks a little bit different than on the east side. I like it over here, too. It's very pretty. There's a lot to look at. Randy's getting the cab, so I can hardly complain today about any inconveniences. And what would I do? I'd be at home watching some awful tape or making some stupid um, movie that I, I'd probably never watch if I weren't being making a BBC appearance. God, look at all this wire in the old West Side Highway. So amazing. Anyway, I guess we're going to wait for uh, Jamie and Laurie are coming. Let's go. Yeah, Come on, let's go down here to uh, Gulf Coast and see what. Um, we have no idea. See if they're there yet. Well, we had such a pleasant cab driver, but he was argumentative, wasn't he? Oh, he, no, was, he was only making his point. When, when did I miss the argument? You didn't think he was argumentative? No, no I thought he was in complete. He was in complete agreement. He was really happy that you liked it. Oh, I loved him. He was sweet. I like almost anyone from Romania who's only been here 14 months. I know. It's like it must be it's so like amazing. it's like sharing a great joy with them to be in a country where they feel like a great bureaucratic cross has fallen off the top of their head just because they're here. They can wake up and do what they feel like. I guess, I guess that's really an amazing feeling. Well, you know, if you don't go to work over there, you go to jail. So it's like you have your freedom to be a you have the freedom to be a slave. At least here you can go sleep in the park if you feel like it, or if you have to. Yeah. It's like he was saying, over there you're either working or you're in jail. You know, you don't have much of a choice. Well, they're across the street.